All right, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to make this video not super long, but as you can see, I had a lot come in the mail. So first of all, what I'm most excited about. Um, I recently did a trade with Rookie Lock. Um, he wanted a multi lock, and I happened to have one that um, was what I consider to be broken, but I was able to f fix it. So I sent him that as well as a few other locks. And in return, he sent me two beautiful lockwoods. Super smooth. Here's the key for one of them. Pretty nice. Key for the other. Also, very nice and in his note he says that one of them has um, the newer the newer pins one has oh yeah right there one with the tapered drivers which is exactly what I was hoping for and I didn't know that it's only the older Lockwoods that have them so yeah so I wasn't aware of that but that's super exciting and he sent me some extra keys as well I'm very excited about so I can play around with re-pinning the locks. So here's one of the keys. Really, I could make challenge locks out of, out of any of these. They're they're pretty solid. Look at that one. That one's really nice. I like that one. And even sent me a few blanks. So one five pin, one six. So thank you very much, my friend, for for sending me those. And then he sent me a uh, a key and knob cylinder. Now the brand is GMS, but it's the LA Sergeant Keyway. So you can see it looks like a Sergeant Key, pretty solid right there. So what I'm probably going to do, um, I have a few Sergeant uh, rim cylinders that have no keys. I'll probably replace the key pins in this one and put them in my rim cylinder so that way I can make a challenge lock out of it. And then I have this one that I can find a blank for or something like that. So thank you very much my friend. I really appreciate that. Move that out of the way. And I recently went on a uh, sort of a spree on eBay, where I was, I realized, oh, I don't have really a lot of materials for making challenge locks. So I looked on eBay to see if I could win any locks. This isn't the greatest knife, but I left my other one, oh, I left it in my room, and my wife is currently rocking our daughter to sleep, so I don't want to. Wake him up. All right, this. Ah. Oh boy. Okay. Try and see, see so you can actually see it. <laughs> so this first auction I won, I was pretty excited about. That was out of the way. Okay. Get that out of the way. Here you go. I can show you what's inside. So I won two, um, I believe they're RU45 cylinders. Yeah, so there you go. I'll just open one of these to show you. They're, they're not keyed the same, they're keyed in, in, in pairs. Next actuator. So, basically brand new. You can see that this is just a uh, a clear uh, cover, I guess, to pre prevent it from being scratched. So that's the QA. Hey, you can see me. <laughs> um, here's the key for just one of them. So that's pretty solid. I think that'd be fun to make a challenge lock out of. Number one is really high, so if you're using top of the keyway tension you have to kind of fight for that one and then it gets low in the middle and high again at the end very smooth of course so I got 10 of these and I paid about $35 for them overall so 
That's about $3.50 for one of these rim cylinders or mortise cylinders. I can never remember which one's which. This is a mortise cylinder side right there. So I'm pretty excited about those. I can make some fun challenge locks out of those. And for $3.50 each, I'm really happy with that. So, got a lot of work ahead of me to make these into challenge locks, but hopefully I can I'll be able to send them out to the community shortly. All right, move that out of the way. So, I paid about 35 to 40 for all of those. All right. So I don't care if anyone sees my address or anything like that. I just want to show you, show you the weight, 28 pounds. So this, whoo, yep, it's that heavy. <laughs> just knocked over my tripod. This thing is a monster and you will see why shortly. I really wish I had my knife. This knife's not the greatest. But yeah, this thing is just giant. I feel sorry for the the mailman for having to haul it up. Okay, guys. Well, let's have that. So we've got this one. We've got uh, got that one. And we've got that one. Whoop! We've got that one. That one, <laughs> that one, that one, and that one. So, you can probably see I won a few auctions from the same seller. Get that out of the way. Let's check. Okay. I'll show you this at the end, how much money it was for all of these. So, number one, we have the... Um, EA27. That's the keyway. <laughs> really not a room on my not enough room on my table. So I have all of these key and knob cylinders with that that keyway. There's the key. Not super challenging, but hopefully I'll be able to um, help that one maybe, file it down, make it more impressive. And these are kind of like the Elko brand, from what I can tell. This is the brand Lori. So none of these are brand name, but I mean for a challenge lock, who cares? So for that one I have, I should have, I, I don't know how many, two, four, six, eight, <laughs> ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen of that, uh, that Kiwi right here. And a lot of these Kiwi, uh, maybe twenty. I'm not sure if that was, was included or not. A lot of these Kiwis I've never even heard of before and had to look up, so. All right, here we have uh, Corbin, uh, I believe it's the CO87 Kiwi, what I saw from my research. Let me just open up one of these to show you. And there were six of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Six of these, that's what we're looking at. Here's one of the keys. That's actually pretty solid. I'll probably leave that one the way it is. So, six Corbins. Once again, the brand is Lori, but the keyway is Corbin. Um, I think that's the Schlade. All right, how long am I at? 10 minutes. Whew. All right, guys, I promise that it's worth it in the end when you hear the, the price for all of these. So this is two, four, 
6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 Schlage, a messy one, I believe. Whoop. Well, let me check. An extra, an extra actuator. I don't need those. I think this is the SE 8. Yeah, right there. So this is SE 8. That's actually pretty solid, right there. Super smooth. Okay. So we have all of those SE 8s. <laughs> We're not even halfway through, guys, so. <laughs> All right, in this one. Uh, let's see what we have here. Um, I think that's Schlage again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. So 23, this looks like it's also an SCA. 23, I think it's supposed to be 24. I may have missed one. Yep, this is also a MSC8. And this one I believe has half five pin and half six pin. So this is a fiver right there. Works very smooth. So I've got Put those with the other SC8s. <laughs> All right. Um, so same keyway as the mortise cylinders, I believe. This is the RU45. At this point in time, I'm not even going to show you how many I have. You can just see that it's a lot. That's the key. One, two, three, four, five. Right. One, two, three, four, five. So, that's the keyway, pretty nice. <laughs> now, none of these are brand new, but they're in pretty solid shape, so. All right, this is more EA27. I've already shown you this one. I'll show you it once more. I think there are nine of them in here. That extra actuator out of the way because I'm trying to hurry, guys. I'll make this super long, but showing you this one already. That's the keyway. Here's a sample of one of the, the keys. That's pretty flat. I think if I could file down a few of those to have some high lows, high lows, that'd make a pretty solid challenge lock. Okay. Two more, I think. Okay. A quick set. These I'll probably make into challenge locks. They're obviously not super challenging for the most part. Um, should be four, uh, 14 of these. So the normal quick set is actually wider than a normal quick set because this is just a, a knockoff brand. So that actually makes it a little easier. But on the other hand, that means that this is wider than 50 thousandths of an inch. So your top of the keyway pry bar will have some slop. Uh, that He's actually pretty solid for a quick set. All right, guys. The last one. Ugh. Then I'll share how much I paid for all of these. Now, this one, um, I think there are 47 of them. So, <laughs> look at all that. All right, look at all those guys. Now, these ones are kind of weird. Let's see if I can find one that's already open. So I have 47 of these. They're the SE1 keyway. But what's weird... Oh, are they all blanks? I think these are all blanks. Wow. Okay, really Cool. Okay, so is the format of this uh, key and knob cylinder? I've never seen anything like it. It has this weird protrusion here. It's got that thing there. I have no clue why this is the way it is. Um, 
it works. I mean, actually, it probably, yeah, there's, an, oh, so it does have pins in it, but, yeah, uh, I know some of your locksmiths, or at least know a ton about locks, more than me at least. If you know what these are, or why they're this way, please let me know, I'd be very curious. And why on earth does it come with, okay, two blanks, that's fine. Then this, what is that? I have no clue what this is. Let's uh, upside it down. This also turns the key, I guess, or the the actuator. You can see how much longer that is. I have no idea why it's that way. So. So any of you locksmiths, if you know, please let me know. This one... <laughs> yeah, this one I won it, and I was like, oh, well, that'll be interesting to try and figure out what the heck it is. Seems like it may only turn it one way. Unless I horse it. Yeah, I have no clue. So 47 of these weird messy ones with... Uh, Two blanks and then one giant blank, which I don't know what to make of. And it's a mixture between the brass finish and kind of the nickel plated finish. So, how long am I at? Uh, 16 minutes. Alright, I'll wrap it up quickly. Yeah, I, I feel like these would be harder to pick because of like that protruding, that protruding. Uh, my lockpicks aren't nearby, otherwise I'd grab a pry bar and see for sure. But you may have to use the longer end on these, I'm not sure. But, yeah, if anyone knows what these are, please let me know. So look how smooth that is. But then with this one, it's not as smooth. So we lock it up. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. So all of those. So if my math was right earlier, I have um, 10 RU45 uh, key and knobs, 10 RU45 mortise cylinders, 29 EA27 key and knob, 6 uh, CO87, which is Corbin, um, 14 quickset kicks, and 47 SE1, these weird ones right here. Now, I believe that, oh, and then uh, 44 SE8s. Now, if my math is right, that's about 152 locks. Uh, not including these mortise cylinders, because those are from another seller. I already told you how much those ones were, $3.50 each, I was happy with. 152 Kia knob cylinders. And for all of this, I paid $71.40. That's about 47 cents a cylinder. Now, <laughs> I don't know how I won these. Um, <laughs> I was just looking for auctions on eBay, and I saw these, and I put you know, not the minimum bid, just a little higher than the minimum bid for these eight auctions. These were all eight auctions. I won all of them. Actually, there was a ninth auction that I lost, but I'd already won 152, so I was all right with it. But I was the only one that bid on all of these eight auctions. So I, I was able to win them all for their opening price. And because it was the same, sh the same seller, I only paid, what was it, thirteen fifty? Thirteen dollars and sixty-five cents for sh shipping. I feel sorry for the seller, man. Like I had to have ripped them off, but I mean, heck, I'm I'm not complaining about it. Um, some of you already know these are heading your way, and if anyone else needs any. Uh, uh, key and knob cylinders make challenge locks? Let me know, because um, I've got plenty. We can work out a trade or something, because I don't think I could make all these into challenge locks if I tried. There are just too many here. Let's just kind of show you. Like, look at all these. 
There are so many here. So yeah, that was my uh, my splurge I went on, my, uh, my shopping spree. Um, <laughs> my wife's not super thrilled with how much it was, but I think it was worth it in the end. So, yeah. I'm going to have to start sending these out or something because I have way too many here. Um, I'm going to be sending Daz Ever some, and I'm probably going to throw in quite a few. So, Daz, if you're watching this, you've seen how many I have. Let me know how many you want. <laughs> and I'll probably throw in twice that many. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed what you saw. Um, I'm not always as lucky on eBay, so don't think this is a regular thing. But if you did like what you saw, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below. And seriously, if you guys want any of these, let me know. We'll set up a trade because this is so many locks. All right, guys, with that, I'm signing out. Thank you for watching.